A first degree deformity is a, for a deformity where the person in question can correct the deformity if asked to do so. For instance, if I see somebody and they're standing with their feet flat like this, and I say, oh, can you raise your arch? And they will raise their arch, and the foot will go back to normal. And then as soon as they stop thinking about uh, raising their arch, it goes back down again. So in, a re in reality, a first degree deformity is evidence of something out of alignment in the, the uh, skeletal or muscular structures that are causing that person to walk in a way that is causing them pain. People only come if it's causing them pain. And so they can correct it so that the shape that's causing the pain doesn't exist, but they soon fall back into it. And so the way to treat a first degree deformity is to have a think and watch and analyze why that person is walking in a deformed manner and uh, put an orthotic in or uh, a heel correction like on this shoe where the inner border is raised and there's a float on the inside that actually uh, creates a voluntary response uh, for, the, uh, th for the foot to walk in a normal way. For instance, sometimes a person will walk with a splay foot, so they're going in that direction, but their feet are splayed out. I'm exaggerating here, but some people do do it almost that much. And so by putting a gate plate under here, so the inner border, the medial border of the big toes raise, makes it difficult to walk like that, so you straighten. Conversely, if you're walking uh, pigeon-toed, uh, so that if that's your line of gait and you're walking like this, if you put something under here, the, that'll make it very difficult to walk like that, so the foot will tend to straighten. And those pigeon-toed or splay-foot gaits can be co corrected in uh, teenage years by using these uh, gait plates, which actually just induce the person to walk in a normal way. So those are first-degree deformities. A very common one stems from the uh, way in which our legs unfurl when we grow. We have this thing, the fetal position, where we're in this position and our feet are, are curled up. And that's the way we were in, the, in our mother's womb. And when we're born, we gradually straighten. So you see a newborn baby or a baby that's a month old, they can put the soles of their feet together and they're still in neutral position. Well, as they start to toddle and walk, gradually the legs go from being curved in to straightening out and straightening out. And uh, if you look at a toddler or some, a child that's maybe two or three years old, you'll see they've got bow legs, and that's normal. Um, but as that straightens out and straightens out, by the time they get to be eight or nine years old, the legs should be nice and straight, and they can then grow as an adult just in length. For some people, you know, quite a good, maybe 10% of people, that straightening never fully occurs. And so by the time they're eight years old, they still have what's called a tibial varum. The lower third of the uh, leg bone is curved inwards. So you can imagine on this leg, the, uh, the bone comes straight down, and in the bottom, say, it curves in, maybe curves in five or six degrees. And so because the thrust is coming in at an angle like that, it's causing the foot to collapse, to put it in simple terms. So if it's, say, five degrees of tibial varum, so this tibia is angled in at five degrees, what we can do is raise the inner border of the shoe five degrees. And so now the whole foot is working in alignment with the uh, bottom of the leg bone, and so uh, the uh, impetus to collapse your foot uh, is no longer there, and the person naturally starts walking naturally. Um, usually uh, bespoke orthopedic footwear, because the person is still young and still growing, uh, with first-degree deformities, it's usually better to work with an orthotic, or, and this is another aspect of bespoke orthopedic, is take a shoe that works, that fits the person, but then do orthopedic 
uh, adjustments, bespoke orthopedic adjustments to the sole, to the joint, and to the, uh, the profiling of the sole so that the, whatever uh, underlying impulse that's causing the person to walk in a distorted way and giving them pain uh, is then alleviated and they start to walk normally. So uh, first degree uh, deformities, the good sign is that you can correct it of your own accord, and, but you may have to wear correcting devices perhaps for the rest of your life in the form of orthotics or minor um, alterations to your footwear.